Third-party risk management is an essential aspect of today's business world, as organizations rely more and more on external vendors and partners. These third parties can pose a significant risk to an organization's operations, reputation, and financial stability and that's where third-party risk managers come in. They are responsible for identifying, assessing, and mitigating risks associated with third-party relationships. So, how do you become a third-party risk manager? First, let's talk about education. While there is no specific degree required to become a third-party risk manager, a background in business, risk management, or a related field is beneficial. A degree in business administration, finance, or management can be helpful, but experience and skills are also important. Next, let's talk about certifications. While certifications are not required, they can demonstrate a level of expertise and knowledge in the field. Some popular certifications include the Certified Third-Party Risk Professional, CTPRP, the Certified in the Governance of Enterprise IT, CGEIT, and the Certified Information Systems Auditor, CISA. Experience is also crucial for becoming a third-party risk manager. Many professionals in the field gain experience through internships or entry-level positions before moving on to more senior roles. Additionally, hands-on experience with risk management tools and software, as well as knowledge of relevant laws and regulations, can be helpful. Skills are also important for becoming a third-party risk manager. Strong analytical skills, the ability to think strategically, and the ability to communicate effectively are all essential. Additionally, Knowledge of third-party risk management frameworks, such as the NIST Cybersecurity Framework or the ISO 27001 standard, is important. In conclusion, becoming a third-party risk manager requires a combination of education, experience, and skills. A background in business, risk management, or a related field is helpful, but not required. Certifications can demonstrate expertise, but are not required. Experience and hands-on training are also important, as well as knowledge of relevant laws and regulations. Strong analytical skills, strategic thinking, and effective communication are also essential for success in this field. Thank you so much for watching our video on third-party risk management. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any further questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more content in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you again.